Hello fit bosses and welcome to the peak contraction NMBB workout. Now it's a peak contraction workout because over time I found for myself and for training other fit buzzers is that these are some of the exercises that allow you to contract your muscles at the highest level at the peak of the movement. And it's an NMBB workout because again we're going to start off working our lower body, give the lower body a rest by working the upper body and then finish off by working the lower body again. So, we're going to start off with the elevated group bridge, then we're going to go into the hanging leg raise and then we're going to finish off with a snatch grip deadlift. So let's go. Alright, so this is a tree workout for this first exercise. and. One thing I did not mention there is that apart from the hanging leg raise, you will indeed be going very heavy on these exercises and you will obviously allow to be to take you know three minute breaks, even four minute breaks. And you will perform up to three sets. You're not to have to perform three sets. The main thing here is that you go really heavy, you push to the max, and you take those breaks, right? So that's the main thing. So let's go. Alright, so obviously you can use a tree if you're outdoors like I'm doing here but if you're not outdoors and you are going to do this at home for example, if you're going to do this before you start work or before you go to college or university then this is a workout that you could do on your sofa with the first, with the first exercise so you have your feet raised on a sofa or some sort of elevated platform or if you have a bench you can use that because that is obviously the main piece of apparatus that you should be using but not everyone has a bench so if you don't have a bench use a sofa let's go and you are going to load it up I'm using a dumbbell here for example say but you can use a barbell so let's go one two Three, remember it's all in the hips. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you will perform ten to fifteen reps on an exercise, depending on how heavy you are going to be lifting, and of course. Just make sure you lift based on how strong you actually are, don't push it too much. But you do want to push as much as you can. If you do really want to increase the amount of reps you want to do, go really heavy. It doesn't matter if you don't perform up to 10 reps or whatever. Just go really heavy and keep going heavy. And if you stick to one weight for, uh, for say, two to three weeks, you should be able to increase the amount of reps you do if you stick to that weight, right? If you stick to that weight and then you know you're getting stronger, and that will allow you to continuously lift heavy for the months to come. So that's the glute bridge exercise out of the way. The next exercise we're going to do now, we're going to do the hanging leg raise. Okay, so the final exercise we're going to do now is the snatch grip deadlift. So the main thing here is that the grip is a lot wider and it's overhand grip instead of a mixed grip, right? That's just the main thing here. Remember, you are going to go heavy 
And remember, all you're doing is picking something up and lifting it up without hurting yourself. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, and that's it. Remember, you're gonna go heavy, and like I said, don't worry about not forming the full ten reps or whatever, eight reps. As long as you go heavy, and as long as you take short breaks. It's all about creating some real change here. That's what this workout is. Because remember, these are exercises that I've, that I've shown to be some of the best exercises at contracting your muscles at the highest level at the peak of the movement, which is where a lot of the change happens. So that's it for this workout. And I'll see all of you in the next video. If you've got any questions, just reply in the comments or reply to the emails and I'll answer them as usual. So see you later.